Hello Aquarius, how are you going? This is your general reading for the second half of September. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and anywhere in your chart you might have that zodiac sign that you're interested in. If you're coming back, hello, come in. How have you been? Tell me, tell me how you've been. And if you're new, welcome. Come in, sit down, put your feet up. I don't care about feet on the furniture here. Make yourself a cup of tea. And um, let's get into it. One more, I feel. One more for Aquarius for September. What have we got? Eight of Swords. Now, this is the card where we put ourselves into, I call it the, the, the rat on the wheel or the mouse on the wheel. Where it just, you put yourself into this circle of thoughts that aren't helpful, 99% of the time they're just bullshit and we just make ourselves miserable by doing it to ourselves rather than, you know, seeing what's actually going on around and stepping out of that train of thought. So... That's what we need to do. Ten of Wands. Yes, putting the burden down. I love and care for myself first. This is the Crystal Power Tarot and I love it. Love it. Let's see. Yeah. Recently you decided to... Get out of that. Let that shit go. Put that down. And find a bit of calm. Yeah, you took some time out. And put the burden down. So you've got two tens here. Lovely. Love it. Good, good. And an ace. Ending... Second half is all about starting fresh and new and putting the shit behind you and really going your own way. I just heard that song. Um, Fleetwood Mac. So this is you. This is how you're seeing it. You're, you've put the burden down because that's the current situation and you're going within. You're looking for your truth see where his hand is it's on his heart it's not he's not all up in his head he's really seeking the truth and what's right for him and what you're not seeing is that it's it's love it's pure love fresh start beautiful energy and your higher self wants you to know that it can take some work because especially for people who aren't used to loving themselves as much as others, it can be a little bit of work, especially if what you want to do and the path you want to walk, other people don't, you know, approve of, uh, can take a little bit of work. But if you know your truth and welcome the love that is there. Not just, see what happens is when we move on and we find our true path, the people who don't understand it, don't want us to go a different direction. 
they they won't be interested in what you're doing they will just be interested in putting it down they won't want to learn about it they won't want to find out about it they won't be excited for you they will just put it down and make you frightened try to make you frightened because they want you to come back here's the thing though that's not love that's fear and when we are brave courage my friend courage and we learn how to do things differently and how to put our boundaries in place and how to care for ourselves and see ourselves as worthy and as enough and as lovable we are then opening the door and welcoming in the possibility of actual love unconditional love and that's what you're not seeing yet yet you will because you're in the right direction you're definitely going in the right direction yes look, look i mean i can't i couldn't write this shit look at the can you read that i am open to opportunities for personal growth page of pentacles that's what's coming up next and yes it's a page but when we first decide to cut the outdated beliefs that weren't ours to begin with we were raised with them and when we decide to look at things differently we have to go back to a beginner's mindset we have to start over as as a as a childlike learning curiosity um mindset and that's beautiful being open to it yeah oh, mm. yeah there we go there we go that makes much more sense so this is coming up the advice is that this can be a tower moment how we react to a tower moment again up to us um, people don't like it when you don't fit their mold anymore they don't like it so shit shit gets shaken up things get shaken and they get a bit messy for a while but you can prepare for this you can put up airbags you can um get yourself a parachute you can prepare for the fallout that's going to come when you find and follow your own path and that's okay that's their stuff yours is the preparation stuff and the learning stuff the outcome is this there's, there's some heartbreak there's there's some heartbreak when you realize kind of what what you've been putting up with um what you were taught to believe that wasn't true there can be some heartbreak with that but by recognizing it and walking into it not running away from it there's healing there's it's very very healing and you will never heal if you don't face it so this is what the outcome is there's healing from this and it might feel like it's a very slow nine of pentacles but it's a solid foundation that you'll be building and you will be the creator of this time you will be the magician you will be the master manifesto you will be the creator of you as opposed to being molded by somebody or something or a lot of somebody's or something else this is absolutely beautiful Aquarius this is if if I had to describe the um, awakening and the uh, spiritual growth path in cards this would be it this would be it and so you are going perfectly this is this is all perfect as in keep going don't go back keep going just keep going you are on the right path all right 
my angel feathers. What message have you got for Aquarius for the rest of September? They are doing so well. Geez, they're doing well. What message have you got? Whoop, thank you. A new work venture. <laughs> the angels are here to present you with new choices regarding your paid or unpaid work. A new career, job, hobby or project is on the horizon. Yay. So, yes, it might be work. But, you know, this is the holy grail. That's what you're not seeing. This is, this is guided. This is all meant to be. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. It's all meant to be. Love you lots. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.